Good evening, Hello. everybody. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me? Listen to yes. you. Yes. 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 Ah, okay. Yes, good. Because I received a message that says uh, your microphone is not working, but you can hear me, right? Okay. Yes. Good. Thank you. Marlon, you're on your way, right? Are you in your house or you're walking, Marlon? Uh, in the room. <laughs> okay, good. So no problem, no problem. Okay, no problem. Good, okay. let me see. Thank you, thank you. So let me see. Mar Marlon on the run, yes, on the run. Yes, you're right. Oh, on no, the run. Okay. Or, or you can say, oh, I am on my way. On my way. Voy de camino. I am on my way. Yes. Claudia de Oyente. Okay. Give me a second. I receive another message here. Before we start, give me a second. Okay. Uh, good. And Glenda. Oyente too. Glenda, Claudia, and Marlon. Right? Let me see anybody else. I have many messages. Uh -huh. Claudia. Eh, okay, very good. Copiado, Claudia. 10-4. Okay. So let's begin with the class. Today we're going to make a review of the simple present, affirmative, and negative statement, right? Affirmative and negative. And we're going to start with the with the conversation we were practicing yesterday. Let me see. Okay, pay attention, please. The use of the simple present, affirmative, and negative. And listen to the conversation first. Here, right? Listen. Page 36, exercise 2, conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Okay. Good. So simple present, affirmative and negative. Now, look at the exercise, please, and listen. Page 37, exercise 4, grammar focus. Simple present statements. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. Okay, here we have the affirmative statements and the negative statement, right? Uh, okay, let me see, I have a message. Okay, good. Okay, uh, affirmative, I walk. You ride. We live. 
they use, you know, this is, uh, you know, the subject, the verb, right, and the complement. And with third person singular, he, he she, and it, uh, we use the verb, but we add an extra S. So it's a, he works, <clears throat> sorry, and she takes. So you don't say he work, no, he works. We don't say she take, no, she takes, right? We add an extra S. Then in the negative, we use the auxiliary do and does. Do, does, do, does, do, and does, right? And because it's negative, we say do not or does not. That equal to say in contraction, don't and doesn't. I use don't for I, you, we, they, and plural in general, right? In plural. So I say I don't leave, you don't leave. We don't leave. They don't need. The students don't need. My brothers don't need. Okay? But when we use third person singular, he, she, and it, we use does. Does not, right? We say doesn't in contraction. Doesn't. So we say he doesn't work. She doesn't drive. And notice that... Uh, in singular, also we say doesn't. For example, we say, my friend doesn't work. My brother doesn't live. Mario doesn't need. Mario doesn't need pupusas. Ah, oh, no, no, yes. <laughs> yes, he needs pupusas. <laughs> okay. So doesn't, because Mario, the student, my brother, are singular. In plural, don't. And in singular, does. Right? Okay. Good. Now we're going to uh, complete some sentences here. Um, hmm. Okay. Good. Let's continue, right? Now, here we have uh, two, two paragraphs, right, Rel uh, related to the simple present. Look, my family and I live, or oh, my family and I lives. Well, because my family and I is plural. Notice this, my family and I. It's not only my family, okay? So for that reason, I say leave, right? Leave. Now, my wife and I work or works? What do you think? Work. Work, right? Yes. Because in this case, I'm talking about plural, right? Work, near here. So we walk or we walks? Class, what do you think? Walks. Walks. Walk. Mm -hmm. walk. No, in walk. this case, it's walk, right? Walk. Uh, because it's we. W oops. Walk, right? Okay. Then, uh, our daughter, Emily. Our daughter, uh, nuestra hija, right? Is singular or plural? Works. Uh huh. Is 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 singular, right? For that reason, we say works. That's okay. Works downtown. So she drive or she drives. What do you think? Drive. Drive or drives. Mm. <laughs> it drives. Drive, drive right with with s with with s. Okay. Because it's she. Drives. Okay. okay. Then, Sorry. Hey, hello, welcome, Jorge. Welcome to the party. I mean, to the class. <laughs> welcome. Okay. Um. Good. Now, uh, or son. Singular or plural. 
person don't don't, don't. Okay, don't. but but or son is singular or plural nuestro hijo plural mm -hmm. nuestro hijo don't plural. okay wait a minute nuestro hijo is plural or singular plural <laughs> mm -hmm. nuestro hijo o nuestros hijos in this case is or singular son. it's singular it's right? only only one son. only one son right mm -hmm. only one in, in la uh, so in this case is walks oh no sorry uh, don't or oh, doesn't don't or doesn't 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 correct doesn't, doesn't. okay good doesn't right good we almost get it right ya casi lo tenemos solo nos falta aquí un poquitín nada más remember son is singular so doesn't right and now we say drive or drives Remember yesterday we say that it rise. Is... No, 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 Ma eh, Mario. It right. rise. Right. It's singular. No, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The sentence ah, yeah, is, yeah. or son doesn't drive. Negative, right? Remember. Well, I will show you. Right. I will show you. Give me a second. She doesn't drive. Notice. You don't say does, doesn't drives. No. It's when, when, when you use the auxiliary. Uh, when I we don't use remember. the auxiliary, yes. Every time we use the auxiliary, right? The verb drive in this case, you don't have the S, right? You don't have the S. So you say, our son doesn't drive. My brother doesn't drive. Uh, Jorge doesn't drive. My friend doesn't drive, you know? Good. Now let's continue, right? He ride or he rides? Right. Hmm? Sorry? I can hear you. Ride or rides? Right. 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 Ride? No lo sé, Rick. Ride or rides? Rides. With S because it's singular, right? Remember, every time we say singular, rides, studies, watches, walks, leaves, huh? you know? Okay, now repeat after me, please. My family and I live in the suburbs. <laughs> repeat, please, repeat. My wife and I work near here. So we walk to work. So we walk to work. Our family works. Our daughter Emily works downtown. Our daughter Emily works downtown. So she drives to work. Our son doesn't drive. He rides his bike to school. He rides his bike to school. Okay, now we're going to take the attendance. Say present, please. Say present. Uh, Ana Maria? Brian? Chris? Here. Thank you. Uh, Daisy Francisco Dagoberto Dagoberto 
Mm. Eh, Griselda. Present. Profe, sí. yo acá estoy. Oye. Eh, Claudia, I know, but you're listening, right? Pero está oyente, ¿verdad, Claudia? Sí, acá estoy. Ya casi. No problem. Cuando llegue a casita me avisa, ¿ok? Yes. La, la, la cámara. No problem, no problem. Ahí siga, no se preocupe, no me voy a tropezar ahí. <ríe> ok. Eh, Jorge. Present. Okay. Josué. Present. Thank you. Carolina. Marcela. Marcela. Ernesto. Ernesto. Mario. Present teacher. Thank you. Maybe. Present. Thank you. Otmar. Present. Thank you, Otmar. Eh, Saúl. I'm here. Thank you. Jancy. Present. ¿Cómo si yo, Jancy? ¿Ya mejor? Bastante mejor. Ok, qué bueno. La, la, la solución ya la dio Mario aquí, ¿verdad? <risa> no la escuché entonces. <risa> es que Mario estaba enfermo el viernes pasado, entonces él, él dijo que una bebida era la solución. Ah, de verdad. Ah, sí. pues que me la pase porque no, no, no la escuché. <risa> té, té. Los viernes hay que tomar té. Ah, vaya. Ok, okay very good. Thank you, Yancy. Ok, Gracias. now, please, uh, I need you help me, please. Uh, Chris, would you like to read again, number one, please? Read again, Chris. My family and I. Read for the public, Chris. Okay, okay, sorry. My family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I work near here. So we walk to work. Our daughter Emily works downtown. So she drives So she drives to work. Our son doesn't drive. He rides his bike to school. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Now, let's go to sec the second word. My parents live or my parents lives? Live. Leave. Why? It's because it's plural, right? Mis papás. My parents. Plural. Every time we use plural, we say leave, right? My parents live in the city. My mother take or my mother takes? Takes. Takes, correct. Takes. Because my mother is singular. So we say takes. Now, a train to work. My father is retired, so he, he don't or he doesn't? Doesn't. He doesn't, right? With he, she, it, in singular, we use doesn't, right? Okay. The only exception with singular is when I say I and you. I and you is singular, but, but is a rule, right? Pero es una regla que debemos usar don't, right? Don't. I don't. You don't. But then the rest don't. But he, she in singular doesn't, right? He also use or he also uses? Uses. Uses, right? Hmm. Public transportation. So they don't or doesn't. They don't or they doesn't? Don't. 
don't, correct. Give me a second. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, good, thank you. So don't, right? Don't. Okay, now listen, please. My parents live in the city. My mother takes a train to work. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. He also uses public transportation, so they don't need a car. Now, repeat after me. Repeat after me. My parents live in the city. My mother takes a train to work. My father is retired. Pensionado, right? My father is retired. So he doesn't work now. He also uses public transportation. He also uses public transportation. So they don't need a car. So they don't need a car. Good. Now, can you help me please? Um, Griselda, can you read the second paragraph, please? The, the second paragraph. Uh, my parents live in the city. My uh, mother live, takes... Sorry, excuse me. Live. My parents live in the city. My mother takes a train to work. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. He also uses public transportation, so they don't need a car. Excellent. So, Griselda, thank you very much, right? Now, remember, I walk, you walk, we walk, they walk, my friends walk, she walks, he walks, it walks, my brother walks, I ride, you ride, Sorry, we ride, they ride. What he says, he rides, she rides, it, it rides, my student rides. Okay, etc. etc. Study again, the last time. Let's practice. I study, you study, we study, they study. My, uh, my, the doctors study. But if you say he, he studies, she, she studies, it, it studies, and um, the doctor studies, right? Watch, I watch, you watch, they watch, we watch, the, the engineers watch, he watches. She watches, it watches, and the engineer watches, right? This is the idea, okay? Now we're going to go to another exercise, continue with the review. Sigamos con el repaso. Okay, good. Here we have three irregular verbs. We have have, do, and go. Normally, I don't say, for example, she, she has she has a car. And no, is she has a car. Normally, you don't say um, he, he does, he does. <laughs> no, he does, right? Or normally say my brother, my brother goes. Nah. My mother grows, right? Okay. 
But listen to the audio, please. Listen to the audio. Page 38, Exercise 4, Grammar Focus. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Okay. Okay, good. Now, have, has, do, does, go, goes, right? Now, let's complete this exercise. I need Jorge to help me with exercise number one, please. My parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad. My parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad. Um, goes downtown to wait, work. Wait, 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 Jorge. My mom and dad is singular or plural? Plural. Is plural. So in this case, go. Go. go, right? Okay. Right. Very good. Give me a second, please. Uh, Regaleme un segundito. Uh, que aquí me está mandando un mensaje, Marcela. This is okay. Excuse me, teacher. No, no sé si me escucha. Yes, I can hear you. No problem. No, If you can... Yeah, no yeah, I can yeah, see yeah, you. Yeah. Ya veo que That's funciona okay. su, ca su cámara y su micrófono. Así que no hay problema, Marcelo. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good, good. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue. Right? So, excuse me, Jorge. Now you can continue, right? Okay. My, My mom, mom and dad go. Go. Correct. Cling. Go. Don't. Right? Don't talk to work. My parents are very busy. So I do a lot of work at home. Excellent also, right? Hago un montón de trabajo, right? Is it true in your case, Jorge? You do a lot of work in your house? It's true. Yes, sí. okay. Yes. No lo sé, Rick. No, I, I believe you. I believe you, Jorge. <laughs> okay, good. Now, number two. Number two. Uh, yes, Jorge? My, yes. My brother doesn't ah, live okay. with Continue. you. Ah, okay, continue. Continue. Oh, no oh, problem. No, no, no continue. Okay. Come on. Yes, yes. He, <laughs> he, I, I need enthusiasm. Yes, Jorge. Come on. Continue. He. <laughs> my brother does like we use. Uh -huh. Doesn't he, live. Doesn't live. Doesn't live with, with us. With, with us. With us. With us. Mm -hmm. He. Uh, he. He has. Uh huh. He has. A par an apartment in the city. He. He goes. Correct. To school, mm -hmm. to school all day, and he do. Mm. He he does. He, he does. He does. Okay, sí. correct. Yes. He does. Sí. Okay. Do you want to continue with number three, Jorge? <laughs> oh, sigue, I don't know. Dele, dele. <laughs> I. I have. Uh -huh, correct. I have right. Remember, in this case, I is singular, but it's a rule that with I and you, we say have, right? Okay, continue. Right. I have a, a new friend. A new friend. Uh, his name is Jason. We go to same. We go to the same. To the same school. And, and sometimes... Um, and sometimes do I, and sometimes we do. 
sometimes we do our homework, right? Our, our homework together. Together. Together, right? Okay. Right. Now listen and repeat. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. My parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad go downtown to work. My parents are very busy. So I do a lot of work at home. My brother doesn't live with us. He has an apartment in the city. He goes to school all day. And he does his homework at night. I have a new friend. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. His name is Jason. We go to the same school. Same. We go to the same school. And sometimes we do our homework together. And sometimes we do our homework together. Good. Any question? Now we have affirmative and negative, right? Affirmative and negative. Let me see. Good. And finally, we have the pronunciation. We have the pronunciation for a, the third person singular, right? We say take, sleep, drive, study, dance, watch, right? And also regular doing how. Okay, let me show you. Uh, when we use third person singular verb, right? We pronounce s when we have the sounds Okay, and these are voiceless sound, voiceless sound, right? Sonidos no voceados. Look, good. And then when we have voice sounds, for example, the letter B. B, B, B. The vowels, uh, the M, the L, and all the vowel sounds, right? So there are boys. Sonido boceado, right? Okay, good. And finally, we have civilian sounds. 
civil and sound. What are the civil and sounds? The S, the SH, the CH, the Z, Z, and the X, right? So these are the civil and sounds. Sonidos silbaditos, right? So with voiceless sound, we pronounce s at the end of the verbs. With voice sounds, like the B, the M, the L, the R, etc., etc., right? We pronounce the sound Z. And when we have sibilant sounds like the S, S, H, C, H, C, X, right? We say is. We add an extra syllable, so we say dance, dances. Watch, watches. Good. Now listen to the audio, please. Listen to the audio. Page 38, exercise 5, pronunciation. Third person singular S endings. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of the S endings. S equals S. Take, takes. Sleep, sleeps. S equals Z. Drive, drives. Study, studies. S equals is. Dance, dances. Watch, watches. Irregular. Do, does. Have, has. Okay. Now, let's start with the first one. Notice that is the last sound, right? Is the last sound of the verb, take. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, now I'm ready. I'm ready. Now, take. What is the last sound? ¿Cuál es el último sonido que se escucha? So we don't say taque. Taque. No. Taque no es take. So the last sound is. K. So it's, it's voice. Es un sonido voceado. No se pronuncia con las cuerdas vocales, sino con el aparato fonador, right? The other one is sleep. What is the last sound? Pa, pa, sleep. You know, so we say sleeps, takes, sleeps. Other possible example is shop. She chops. Ella compra, right? She chops. Mm -hmm. Make. She makes. You know? Okay. Laugh. Reírse. He laughs. He laughs, sorry. He laughs. With S, he laughs. Yeah. He laughs. Other example could be um, work. I work. She works. You know, that's the last sound. Good. Then we have the other one, drive. It said drives. Study, studies. Right? Because these are boy sounds. V, 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 uh, study, study, ah, it's voice sound, sonido voceado, quiere decir que usamos las cuerdas vocales para producirlo, ¿eh? que por cierto no son, no son siete cuerdas vocales, son dos nada más, son dos musculitos que tenemos aquí en la garganta, you know? Esas son las cuerdas vocales, no se imaginan un montón, solo son dos, <laughs> ok, so when we use them, we produce this sound, right? Boy sound, sonido boceados. Okay? So in this case, we say, I drive, she drives. You study, he studies, right? Okay, y los sonidos silbaditos, silbaditos, right? With an extra syllable, so we say, is. I dance, she dances. You watch my friend watches, right? 
Good. Any question? Difficult, right? <laughs> Difficult. But then, listen the last time. Let's listen the last time. Page 38, exercise 5, pronunciation. Third person singular S endings. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of the S endings. S equals S. Take, takes. Sleep, sleeps. S equals Z. Drive, drives. Study, studies. S equals is. Dance, dances. Watch, watches. Irregular. Do, does. Have, has. Okay. Any question? Questions, questions? Don't worry, you can make any question, right? I am here to answer your questions. Aquí estoy para responderle todas sus preguntas. Come on, tell me. These are no, es que veo ahí que es un mm -hmm. tema nuevo. Eh, no. Es, lo, es yes. el plural ahorita. Oh. No, 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 no. I will explain, right? Uh, I will say in Spanish. Give me a second. Es que lo que pasa que cuando usamos el verbo en tercera persona, siempre agregamos ese. No es que el verbo sea en plural. No, 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 no sino que es una forma ah. gramatical. Bueno, la verdad, Marlon, es que también se usan los plurales. También estas reglas se usan en los plurales y en los possessive nouns. Son tres temas en los que se usa. Pero ahorita el tema no es plural. El tema ahorita es los verbos en tercera persona singular. ¿Sí? En lugar de decir she take, decimos ah, she takes. Sí. Ajá, le agregamos una S. Entonces, para... En tercera persona. Ah. Correcto. Ajá, pero... She, he, and it. She, he, and it, y todos los nombres en singulares. Ok. Eh, y, uh, Marlon, en este caso, hay tres sonidos que se hacen de acuerdo al último sonido del verbo. Por ejemplo, en el caso de take, el último sonido es una K. Y como la K es un sonido no voceado, k, 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 no usamos las cuerdas vocales, entonces vamos a decir... She takes. Yes? Okay. okay. Si digo drive, la letra B, V, 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 es voceada. O sea, si usamos las cuerdas vocales, entonces hago el sonido de Z. Drives. Study? Studies. ¿no? Right. Y por, por right. último, si el verbo termina, como por ejemplo en el caso de dance, que termina en una S, Sonido de S, no letra, no, no cómo se escribe, no, cómo se pronuncia. ¿Ok? El último sonido que se oye en el caso de dance es una S, dance. Y como la letra S es, es silbadita, vamos a agregarle la sílaba id. Entonces, usted va a decir, Marlon, I dance, yo bailo, right? She dances. ¿Ok? Watch. She dances. Uh -huh. I watch my brother watches. I watch my brother watches. ¿Ok? Y aquí tenemos ejemplos de verbos irregulares. Entonces, esa no es, sería eh, como la regla de pronunciación. ¿Ok, Marlon? Ok, excellent. Okay, Thank good. you. Anytime, anytime. Anybody else? Another question? No? Ok, so let's continue. Sí, yes, 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 Mario. Este, solo una, una, una pregunta. En el uh -huh. caso, este, con, con lo que usted está mandando para, para eh, las, las conversaciones de las historias que está mandando. Ah, y es los viernes, uh -huh. sí. Uh -huh. Sí, este, ¿verdad que no hay problema si, si las escribimos? Ah, no, no, bueno, pero ya está escrito, Mario. Ah, sí, eh, solo para, digamos, en, en el caso, el, el vocabulario nuevo, ¿verdad? Las ah, no, nuevas. no, of course, of course, Mario, claro que sí. 
Porque ahí lo que he estado haciendo, tal vez es la trampa de, 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 del, 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 eh, ¿cómo se llama? Del traductor para, para saber cómo suena, pero ah, no sé si vaya. está haciendo bien o no. No, está haciendo <ríe> mal. En el diccionario, malísimo. en el diccionario, este, aparecen, <ríe> digamos, lo que, lo que usted ha colocado aquí, la S, la Z y la IZ, pero aparecen bien diferentes, la, la, o sea, la forma en cómo está escrita. Esa ah, es mi pregunta, sí, 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 sí. Va, mire, vamos a hacer una cosa. Comencemos por lo siguiente, va. Eh, ahorita estamos en básico 1, entonces adentrarnos mucho en lo, lo de la pronunciación sería como, como confundirlos, ¿verdad? Pero eh, vamos a ver algunos pequeños, como este ejercicio, pequeños ejercicios de pronunciación para que ustedes se vayan como ambientando, ¿no? Con cuál es la pronunciación. Pero eh, para producir los sonidos ingleses hay muchos símbolos. Eh, la materia se llama fonética, fonética inglesa, ¿ya? Entonces, eh, usted en español, así como lo escribe, así lo pronuncia, pero en inglés, eh, usted utiliza ciertos símbolos para producir eh, los sonidos en inglés. Eh, le voy a poner un, un caso bien común, vaya, en el caso de la TH. La, aquí no puedo escribirlo, pero pero más o menos le voy a dar una idea para que vea cuál es la fonética. Por ejemplo, yo digo my father y también digo thanks. Es la forma en cómo coloca la, la Vaya, labio, entonces, ¿verdad? Y lo tiene. La, correcto, correcto. Pero ahorita, pues, ni modo, no podemos estar estudiando fonética, así que nos vamos a ir al estilo periquito, ¿verdad? Escuchamos y producimos nada más. Entonces, father, la TH... Oiga, ¿cómo suena la, la TH? The, the. So we say father, right? No digo my fathers, my fathers, no, no. Digo my father. Y acá la TH suena, suena como una Z. En inglés es un cero como un cero y una rayita en medio. Ese es el símbolo. Entonces, la TH suena como th, th. Dice, Thank you, thank you. No digo thank you, thank you, thank you, man. No, no, digo thank you. Entonces, sí, eso... que lo bien salva... él lo bien salvadorizado. <ríe> sí. Entonces la TH tiene dos sonidos. ¿Ok? Entonces, honestamente, en los niveles más adelante ustedes van a ver más práctica con esto. Pero de momento les voy a enviar un video para que ustedes practiquen escuchar y repetir. Y a la misma vez le van a aparecer, Mario, los símbolos fonéticos abajo. Entonces, ese ejercicio, Gracias, que, va, ese ejercicio que está haciendo usted, le recomiendo que de momento no lo haga. Porque esa es una habilidad diferente. La habilidad de traducir un lenguaje a otro es una habilidad diferente, ¿verdad? Pero aquí eh, estamos con el objetivo no de ir traduciendo, sino de ir aprendiendo gramática, pronunciación, ¿ya? Porque si vamos traduciendo, Mario, vamos a ir como arrastrando algo, ¿sí? Vamos a aprenderlo, pero vamos a ir arrastrando algo. A ir pensando en inglés y en español, en inglés y español. Entonces, ahí nos va a costar mucho. Entonces, eh, lo entiendo, teacher. O Exacto. sea, que ahorita Gracias. es un poquito difícil porque nosotros tenemos el español aquí, ¿verdad? Obviamente. Y esto es algo nuevo. Entonces, nosotros queremos como poner los pies en la tierra, ¿va? Así como cuando uno quiere nadar, uno quiere agarrarse de la orilla. Pero no, hay que soltarse, hay que tirarse al agua. Lo mismo sucede con el inglés. Ustedes tienen que soltarse, aunque no entiendan todo, pero lo poquito que vayan aprendiendo se va a ir sumando, sumando y sumando y sumando. Entonces los ejercicios que les mando yo en el grupo de WhatsApp, como música, como escuchar, como, como el libro donde ustedes van, bien, traten de, de visualizarlo solo en inglés. ¿Verdad? En la medida que ustedes se vayan acostumbrando, es por eso que ahorita me van a regañar porque mucho español les estoy hablando. <risa> tiene que ser solo en inglés la clase. Entonces, igual esos ejercicios tienen que ser exclusivamente en inglés. Y si ven películas, subtítulos en inglés, nada de español. ¿Ok? Total de acuerdo. Mal? Gracias, teacher. Ok. Y con el vocabulario sí puede ir traduciendo. Ahí puede usted ir anotando las palabras, igual que en esta clase. Ustedes vayan anotando las palabras que no entiendan. Al final de la clase se van a San Google y ahí lo traducen, ¿verdad? 
pero no es que van a traducir toda la clase, sino que son palabras claves. Lo mismo sucede con ese libro. Mi consejo es que es solo palabritas, Mario. Y de ahí todo en inglés. Oiga. Ok. okay thank you, thank you. Ahí les le voy a mandar el, 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 el video. Dura como dos horas y media, más o menos. Así que van a ir viéndolo poquito a poquito. <risa> ¿Verdad? Y, y, y bien ahí... chiquito es, teacher. Y, sí. Es que vaya, es así, mire, Mario. Le dice la palabra dos veces. Por ejemplo, study, study. Y después ya aparece escrito, study. Y abajo de la escritura aparece cuáles son los símbolos fonéticos con los que se pronuncia, ¿sí? Y es de nivel básico, así que les va a servir muchísimo. Ahí lo practican cuando tengan tiempo. Y guárdenlo en un lugar ahí en, en su teléfono para que practiquen siempre. Ok, let's continue, right? Let's continue. Now, eh, we are going to go to the manual. We are going to go to the manual. Just give me a second here. Okay. Here's the manual, right? Let me share with you, right? Let me share with you. Déjeme compartirle. Let me share with you the, the manual, right? Okay, here, right? Good. Last class, we were learning about some occupation, right? Occupations. So we were learning about a bookkeeper, financial analyst, human resources specialist, uh, digital marketing manager, insurance agent, and software engineer. Good. Now we're going to read the concept, right? Number one, it's a person who keeps track of the financial accounts of companies. Who is that? The financial analyst, the insurance agent, the bookkeeper. The financial analyst. The financial analyst. Um, no, 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 no. Similar, but no. No, no. Keep track of, of the financial accounts. Lleva registro de las cuentas financieras of the company, right? Who is it? The bookkeeper. The bookkeeper, correct, right? The bookkeeper. Let me copy here. Letter A, right? Uh-huh, the bookkeeper. Number two, help people and businesses manage their finances. Who is that person? Financial analyst. Financial yeah, analyst. Letter, letter B, right? Letter B, letter B. Okay, nice. Number three, know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Human resources specialist. Letter C. Letter C, human resources specialist. Cling. Correct, right. Number four, create and advertise the company over the social media. Digital marketing manager. Digital marketing manager or letter D, right? Next one, help people and companies against financial loss and manage risks. Financial analyst. Analyst. Financial analyst. Mm, no, that's number no. two. No, no, no. That's number two. E. Letter E. Insurance agent. Insurance right? and agent. Agente de seguro, right? So that's letter E. Now, number six. Design and develop different softwares. Letter F. Letter F. Correct. Letter F, right? Okay. So only for that, because you did it very well, Doodly is going to give you claps. Very good, people. Nice. Okay, very good. Now, let's continue. Then in the manual, right? 
in the manual. This is page number uh, 19. Now in page 20, we have the affirmative and negative statement, right? For that reason, here we have four sentences that are incomplete. Now we're going to work together with this, right? Well, only let me check the attendance. Vamos a chequear la asistencia, quienes se han presentado ya. Okay, Ana María. Brian. Daisy. Dagoberto. Present. Ah, okay. Welcome, Dago. Good. And Carolina. Marcela. Present teacher. Thank you, Marcela. Thank you very much. Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Now we're going to make only tonight we're going to make only two groups, right? The sentences are in disorders. So what are you going to do? Put in order. Affirmative and negative statement, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dago. Okay, wait a minute for the picture. Now, ready. Take the picture. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was <laughs> posing, you know, posando, okay. Thank you. Now, uh, let's go and make the groups, please. Tonight, we're going to make only two groups. No more, right? No more. Two groups only. Okay, group number one. Ready? Chris, Josue, Marcela, Ernesto, Mario, Marlon, maybe, and Otmar. Ooh. Excelentoso, right now. Group number two. Group number two is eh, Claudio. Bueno, Claudio está de oyente. Eh, Dago, Glenda, Griselda, Jorge, Saúl. Ya encendí la cámara, profe. Ah, excelentoso. ¿Ya puede participar, Claudia? Yes. Permítame que no me da... Ah... No me da el cursor para bajar. No sé qué pasa. Debajo de Saúl, aquí tengo a alguien más, pero no sé quién es. Dios mío. Quiero ver. Ah, Yancy, Yancy. Era. Perdón, Yancy. Ok. So, group number two. Eh, Claudia, ¿ya puede participar, Claudia? Eh, Dago, Glenda. No, Glenda está de oyente ahora. Perdón, Glenda no va a participar. Ya puedo eh, participar, teacher. Ah, excelentoso. <risa> excelentoso. Uh. Ya todo el mundo me está incorporando. Yes. Bueno, entonces sí, Glenda va a participar. <risa> eh, Griselda. Jorge and Yancy, right? Ok. Ready? Here we go. Oh, no. Se me perdió. <risa> Sorry, se me perdió el orden. No sé qué hice, pero me perdió. Sorry, el oso de la noche. Ok, good. Ok, now, group number one. Chris, Dagoberto, Glenda, Griselda, Josué, Mario, Marlon y Saúl, right? Group number two. Claudia, Jorge, Marcela, Ernesto, maybe, Otmar, and Jancy, right? Here we go. Ahora sí.
montón. Disculpa. Salud. Gracias. <risa> Qué vergüenza. Eh, Marlon, Mario has the solution for the for the flu. Mario has the solution. He knows, right? <risa> Okay, class, let's work. Come on, let's do it. In the sentences with the words provide using them. You need a secretary, right? A secretary. <laughs> My recommendation is Mario. Mario the secretary. <laughs> okay. The companies. Uh, I they don't see companies. The company track. They keep, verdad? They keep ah, they keep track. track they keep companies. Financial accounts. They keep company track of financial accounts. They keep company. They keep company track of uh, financial accounts. And financial, I can avail the other part. I consider they keep that company is... track, verdad? They keep track. company tracks. Track. Mm -hmm. sí, yes. Okay, track. Mm -hmm. Financial accountants, of, ¿verdad? Of, of financial accountants. Ah, of financial. Of financial, financial accountants. Financial accountants. Dígame, Claudia. Dígame, Claudia. Ah, se me escucha. Ah, vaya, vaya. No, 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 es que pensé que no me escuchaban, pero también quería preguntar algo. Eh, sobre lo que es lo último, tú... <risa> Eh, el 2 más de último. ¿Va agregado o qué? Vaya. Allá que está el teacher acá, vamos a ver si él... Ahí está, ya lo están compartiendo. Vamos a ver si, si no nos equivocamos y ya que está el teacher aquí nos va a corregir también. En el primero, en primero va el sujeto y después va el verbo. De ahí tenemos que llenar el complemento, así como tenemos que ir. Vaya, ya nos dijo el teacher ahí que sí. Entonces, el primero, el de es el sujeto. Keep es el verbo. Entonces, tenemos que sacar el complemento. Okay. Sería they keep. They keep, they keep track uh, company. The finances account. Así keep, seguro. Así así. ¿Qué opinan los demás? They keep, dice la compañera que they keep track company financing account. Sería they keep track, sí, verdad, track of company finance account. Así es. Ah, ok. Vale, ok, el segundo. ¿Cuál? El segundo, ¿Cuál es? ¿cuál es el sujeto en la dos? En la dos, ¿cuál es el sujeto? Eh, we come we, 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 we. Sí, exacto, we es el sujeto. We. Exacto. We don't. Ahora, no. No, acuérdese que primero va el, el sujeto y después va el verbo. ¿Verbo? ¿Adversary? Adversary. Sí, va. Ok. No, adversary. Ad el complemento sería. Vamos a ver. We adversary done on la, inter the company. La, la company, quiero ver. Sería the company on internet. O internet the company. No, pero ¿cómo va el inicio? With we, 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 uh, adver, adversary. With ah. adversary. No, we don't adversary. Adversary, sí. We don't adversary. Ah, es negativo, es cierto. We don't adversary. Ajá. El complemento. The company, on, the company on, on internet, creo. 
we don't, we don't advertise the company on internet. Estamos bien. Vayan anotándolo, vayan anotándolo. Vamos al tercero. El tercero, ¿cuál es el sujeto? La company, la company on internet. Era sí, así, compañero. Es, así es, así es. Ajá, vaya. Ahora el tres, ¿cuál es el sujeto? Con internet. Ahí. El sujeto de Jai, exacto. Ahora el verbo, ¿cuál es? Mary. Compañeros, el sujeto es Ay. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Mary. No. I take every day. I take every day. I take every day. In the meeting every day. In not, not don't the, I take in not. The me, meeting, meeting. I take not. In the meeting in the every meeting day. Not. I take not every day. In the meeting. Y el cuarto. El cuarto, ¿cuál es el sujeto? Creo que empezaría Carlos y Mauricio. Exacto, Carlos y Maurice. Es el sujeto. Yes. ¿Cuál es el cuál es el verbo? Answers, cabal. Ah, ajá, y el complemento. Muy gracioso, ¿sabes? Phones at the reception. Carlos y Maurice answers phones Phone? at, at and the reception. Yes, así es. ¿Lo anotaron todos? El uno, mejor, el uno. Okay, ready? Uh, let's start with number one, right? Group number one, please. Group number one. Help me. Group number one. El de Cristian, el grupo Ajá. de Chris. Ajá, Chris, Chris and Company. Hello. They keep track. You know. Okay, give me a second, give me a second, please. They keep track. Uh -huh. uh, financial accounts of company. Oh. Oh, financial. Of they financial accounts. Of, of financial. Of financial account of companies. Of oh, companies. My goodness. Perfect. Excelentoso. Yes. They keep track of financial accounts of company. Good. Group number two, please. We don't advertise the company. We don't internet. advertise Give me the a company second. on internet. We, give me a second, please. Realeme un segundito. Estoy viendo algo en mi computadora. No, no, todo está bien. Pensé que me estaba descargando. No, no. Sorry, excuse me. Todo está bien aquí. Yes, continue, continue. Ah, se me borró. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me let me copy number one again. Excuse me. Es que cuando uno se sale se borra todo. Okay. So they keep track 
of financial financial accounts, financial accounts of companies of company right okay very good and number two again please we don't we don't advertise we don't advertise the company on internet the company over all internet. over the internet or on internet right yes excellent also we don't advertise advertise the company on the internet okay good and number three group number one please i take notes every I take day notes every day i take notes in the meeting meetings i in take notes meeting. every day in the meeting i take notes every in the day meeting. in the meeting every will, day every day okay every i will day. tell you something about every day listen with expressions of time with expression of time right we use every day for example at the end hmm. is possible to use every day at the beginning yes it's possible i can say for example every day i take notes in the meeting it's correct okay i can say i take notes every day in the meetings no problem you can say that but normally the every day is speaking the expression like every week every saturday on monday on sunday on in march in april in july in december etc etc normally they are at the end of, of the sentence understand but i repeat no problem if you say every day i take notes in the minute no problem you can change the position but i repeat i repeat normally is at the end right Okay, group okay. number two, please. Group number two. Carlos and Huicho. What happened with Carlos and Huicho? Carlos and Maurice. Carlos and Maurice. Oh, yes. Answer phone at the reception. Answer phone, phone at the reception. Okie dokie. Good. We finished, right? Now, repeat after me, please. They keep track of financial accounts of companies. We don't advertise the company on internet. I take notes in the meeting every day. Carlos and Maurice answer phone at the reception. Okay, good. Only Josue, please. Josue, can you read the four sentences again for the class? They, they keep track of financial account of the company. Thank you. Financial, financial. Financial. <laughs> Okay, good. Financial. Don't worry. No, no. Come on, Jose. Don't worry. Okay, number two. We don't advertise the company on internet. Excellent. Advertise. Good pronunciation. Good pronunciation, Jose. Number three. I I take notes in notes? the meeting. Notes. Notes. Uh -huh. notes in the meetings every day. Carlos in Maurice answer from at the reception. Answer, 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 answer. Good answer. Very good. Now, any question? Thank you, thank you, Jose. No, no questions. So let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, good. Now we have the use of affirmative negative statements 
but we add an S to the verb, right? This is page number 22. Page 22. She makes, he carries, Cindy sends, it helps, my boss talks. In negative, she doesn't make, he doesn't carry, Cindy doesn't send, he doesn't help, my boss doesn't talk. Notice that the S disappears. So when we say she doesn't make, but we say we, she doesn't make, right? Okay, let's make this exercise together. Number one, this is for uh, Carolina. Are you here, Carolina? No, okay. So, Marcela, please. Yes, teacher. Number one, what is the correct form of the verb order? Order. Uh, he... Uh -huh. In the office. Uh -huh. No, but but the verb. I, only the verb. Only the verb. Only the the action. Right. Okay. Order. Order or orders. Orders. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Orders. He orders everything in the office. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with the next one. Um, Ernesto, please. Number two, Amy and Teresa. Number two. Please. Mm, Amy and Teresa. Ask is? Ask. Ask or asks. With S or without S? S. Mm -hmm. yeah. But wait, wait, Ernesto. Amy and Teresa. Is singular or plural, Ernesto? Plural. Plural. So in this case, S or no S? <laughs> S or no S? S. Mm. No S. No S, right? <laughs> no S. <laughs> So only yes. ask, because it's, it's plural, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you, Ernesto. Number three, Mario. It's negative, right, Mario? Helen uh, doesn't call. Doesn't call. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekend. Thank you very much, Mario. Good. Now, next one. After Mario, we have um, Marlon. Ya puede participar, Marlon. Yes. Yes. Okay. Number, number. Wait, wait a minute. Bueno. This is number one. Dice número uno, pero es número cinco. Okay. <laughs> no le da caso. Dicen equivocado. Number five. Okay. I, I write or I write, Marlon. I write. I write. Okay, thank you. I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. Good. And Mario, Mario, but this is for the exercise, right? It's not for Mario, the student. It's for another person, right? Okay. Um, we have uh, Marlon and maybe, maybe. Ah, sorry, we missed four, right? No, no hizo falta uno. Aquí el cuatro, yes. So maybe, please, number four. Ande, sí. Number four, maybe. She cuatro. clean. Yeah. She clean or she cleans? She clean. Mm -hmm. or, or no, she, she cleans. Okay, correct, right? We're not or talking about candy, right? No estamos hablando de dulces. Así es. She clean, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, she cleans, right, the, our desk in the morning. And the last one, no, sería el número seis, ¿verdad? Pero dice uno, pero es seis. So, uh, can you help me, Otmar, please? Number six, Otmar. Mario doesn't read. Mario doesn't, doesn't keep, right? 
Mario doesn't keep a record of the mer merchandise he buys. He buys, correct. Excelentoso. Asombrante, right? He buys. Good, class. Listen and repeat. He orders everything in the office. Repeat, please. Repeat. Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every Friday. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. She cleans our desks in the mornings. I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he buys. Okay, let's read, please. Saul, read one, two, and three, please. Again. He orders everything in the office. Amy and Teresa ask for the signature every Friday. Helen doesn't call the visiting department on weekends. Design. 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 Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Yancy, number four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. Yancy? Miss Alvarez? Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> okay. um, she cleans or, or decks in the morning. I white and let's white the white the the wind knit it. Okay, wait, 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 Jancy. At least well, wait, listen, listen. At least, uh -huh. least with the least with the things. We the things. The things. We need at night. A.M. I am. Mario do it skip. Doesn't? Mario doesn't? Does, doesn't? Keep a record of the merchant. Merchandise. Merchandise. Boys. He buys. He buys. He buys. Okay. Thank you very much. Right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Now, class, we finished, right? <coughs> Hoy sí ya terminamos. Affirmative and negative, right? We did everything. Ya hicimos conversaciones, ejercicios, audio, pronunciación, reglas, gramática, everything, right? Everything with affirmative and negative. Now, any question, class? ¿Todavía hay alguna duda? ¿Cómo hacer oraciones afirmativas y negativas en el presente simple? ¿Any question? Difficult, teacher. Difficult, yes, it is. Uh, but, a little difficult, but the but practice. But we need to practice. Uh -huh. that, that's the point. Yeah. Practice. Review, right? Yeah. We can uh -huh, memorize, for example, the rules. Uh, the rule for third person singular. Uh, add an S. He makes, for example. Uh, uh, repeat it and repeat it again and again. <laughs> Change the Y to I and then add ES. So we say, he studies. Double the last consonant. No, no, double the last consonant. No, no, it's uh, wrong. Ah, add ES when it ends in SH, CH, S, Z, and X, right? In the regular forms. I have, she has. I go, she goes. I do, she does. Right? Memorize the rules and practice, right? 
Okay, now we're going to go to the class of today. And for that, I will make, I will show you the presentation for today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Miss Universe. Oh, no, no, sorry. Welcome to the class number seven. Class number seven. Okay, yes, no questions. Okay, <laughs> yes, no questions. Uh, here in my house, they're asking me to reduce the violences. <laughs> me están pidiendo que baje el volumen, ¿verdad? Pero, yes. Class number seven, it's November 8th. Yes, no question. Now, remember, we, we were working with affirmative negative in simple present now we are going to work with yes no questions yes no question right so what is the objective for today mario please can you read the objective for tonight i will be able to ask partners questions about their daily routines and give answers about my routine good so you're going to describe your routine in your company and I will, or, or you and the students, you're going to describe my routine, right? My routine and your routine. My routine, your routine. Habits. My habits. My routine, right? Good. Now, here we have some examples of actions we make in the companies. Recordemos que este es inglés para el trabajo. Y estos son verbos que nosotros usamos en el trabajo, you know. So, number one, create, then repair, install, sell, exchange, keep, write, buy, receive, decide. Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Create, repair, install, sell, exchange, keep, write, buy. Receive, decide. Good class. In this case, right, uh, we are going to practice with these actions and you can practice in affirmative, for example. I create programs. I create meetings. You create uh, solutions. They create uh, uh, projects, Some right? Repair. I repair computers. You repair engines, motores, right? Uh, my my coworker repairs airplanes. Install. I install programs. You install programs. She installs programs. In negative, sell. I don't sell machines. She doesn't sell uh, shoes. You know, so we can say affirmative and negative. But now, we are going to learn how to use those verbs using yes, no question. Yes, no question in English are close questions. Close questions. Why we say close questions? This is because we have only two answers, or yes, or no. Simple. For example, do I get up early? Or do you get up early? Te levantas temprano. Do you get up early? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Ah, so like negative statement in simple present, right? In yes, no question, we also use the auxiliaries do and does, right? Do and does. So let's make an exercise. When do we use do? When do we use does? Do. And does, do does. 
So I will tell you a subject and then you say do, does, do, does. Okay? Ready? Okay. She. Does. She does. Okay, good. I. Do. Do. They. Does. Do. They do. Uh -huh. uh, they do. I, we. Do. 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 He. Does. My brother. Does. Does. My, my brothers. Does. Do. 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 My, my brothers do. My brothers. Do. Plural. My brothers do. Okay. Pirulais. Does. 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 Pirulais does. does, right? Okay. Also, we have polar, right? Polar do or polar does? Does. Das. Das. Polar does. Okay. Polar. Very good. Polar does. Okay. <clears throat> and doodly. Das. Doodly does. Doodly does. Correct. Das. Okay. And if we have two dinosaurs, doodly and dino. Do. 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 Correct. Very good. Now, the same happened when we make questions. To say, do you, do we, do they, do the doctors, do the parents, you know, do. Does. Does she, does he, does my brother, does uh, Dagoberto, does Josue, does Glenda, you know. So, does. And do right? when we make question. When we make question, right? Now, and the structure is what is the structure? Look, we use the auxiliary, right? And the structure is auxiliary do, subject, verb, and complement. Auxiliary, subject, and verb. Remember the structure in affirmative, right? I like pizza. I is the subject, like is the verb, and pizza is the complement. Excuse me, excuse me. I don't like pizza. Totally false, completamente falso, porque me encanta la pizza. But this is the example. I don't like pizza. So we have subject, Auxiliary, verb, and complement. And now in questions, auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement, right? And the question mark. Then you say, do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Notice that only two options. No more, no more. Do you like pizza? Yes. Do you like pizza? No. Yes and no. Do you like pacayas? Yes. No. I like it. Yeah, you can say, listen, eh, honestly, in English, right, it's not only one answer, right? It's, no crean que el inglés es de, do you like? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Are you in the house? Yes, I am. No, I am. No, no, no. no. It's not too mechanical. El inglés no es tan mecánico. Podemos decir varias respuestas. Eh, por ejemplo, so, le, eh, le, let's make this question. What do you do? For example, ¿Qué haces? What do you do? You can say, I am a doctor. Or I work in a hospital. Right? In, do, in both cases, you're answering the question. En, en a, a ambos está usted respondiendo la pregunta. Pero si me preguntan también a mí, do you like pizza? And you say, I love pizza. Si yo digo que estoy respondiendo, ¿verdad? Pero como ahorita este es un inglés de libro, dijéramos, <ríe> you know? es, es de básico, ¿no? Entonces vamos a practicar solo yes and no. Pero sí, Saúl, esa pregunta podemos responderla de varias formas. De varias formas, ¿verdad? El inglés es igual que el español. Uh, un sinfín de formas de cómo responder una pregunta, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita, pues, como... Vamos pasito, pasito, lo vamos a, a decir yes and no, ¿ok? Good. Now, let's continue. Let's continue.
Good. Now, question with does. Does she ask for assistance? Yes, she does. No, she does. Does he drive the truck? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does Elena make phone calls? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does her company check the policy? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes or no? Yes and no. Simple. Simple like that, right? Yes or no. Now, here we have the auxiliaries. I do, you do, we do, they do. He does, she does, and it does. So, do you? Do we? Do they? Does he? Does she? Does it? Notice this example. Does she live in La Union? Does, does Jorge live in Santa Ana? Does Glenda live in Cujucuyo? For example, right? So we have the auxiliary das. When we say he, she, or it, right? Okay. Now this is the general view. Look. Do I, do you, do we, do they, do Sylvia and Candy? Do Mario and Ernesto, right, in plural? And then you say, yes, you do, yes, I do, yes, you do, yes, they do. Oh, no, you don't, no, I don't, no, they don't, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, with that, we have, does he ask for assistance? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does she ask for assistance? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does it? Yes, it does. No, it does. Does my friend ask for assistance? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does Oscar ask for assistance? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, and again, notice that when I make question with does, pay attention to this, please. When I make question with does, here, right? The verb goes to the basic form. So you don't say, does, does he asks? Mm -mm, no. Remember what we said yesterday. Every time we use the auxiliary, the verb doesn't change. No transformation of the verb. No S to the verb. Right? Don't forget that. Good. Any extra question, class? Questions? No questions. Okay. So now let's go to the practice, right? Let's go to the practice. Uh, let me see, Ana Maria. Bueno, no estuvo con nosotros hoy, Ana Maria. Brian? Tampoco. Bueno. Okay, so Claudia, please. Do you need a green share at work? No, I don't, or no, I doesn't, Claudia. No, I don't, or no, I doesn't. No, I doesn't. No, okay, let me see. I will give you a joker, right? Le vamos a dar un comodín, Claudia. Yes? Llamada al público, permita. Vamos a llamar al público. Yes. Hello, Jorge? How are you, Jorge? <laughs> Hi. Hi, hi. Hello. Listen, good good night. Uh, good evening. I mean, uh, listen, in the question, do you need a green share at work is no, I don't or no, I doesn't. Mm -hmm. doesn't. No, I doesn't. Mm -hmm. Permítame, me equivoqué de número. Voy a llamar a otro. 50-50, <laughs> 50-50, teacher. So, hello, Saúl, Saúl. <laughs> I? In the in the question, do you need a green share at work? Is no, I don't, or no, I doesn't. Mm, done. You. Oh, sí. Saul, no, I don't. 
No, I do. No, I do. I don't. I don't. I don't. Ok. El público está bien equivocado. 50-50, teacher. Ok. No, ya le di el 50-50. No, 50. I don't. Ya le di el 50-50. Yes, I don't. Yes, I don't. No, I don't. No, I, no, no, I, va, va, no el I don't. Está... Ok, Claudia. No, I don't. Ya escuchó, Claudia. Le va a hacer, cla... le va a hacer, caso... Le va a hacer caso al público y eso no. No. Está, está igual que yo, creo. Oh. Uh. No, la, la respuesta es don. No, un momentito. No, yo no, don. Ya me confundieron a Claudia, así que que ella decida. Claudia, no, no hay don can't. o no hay das en Claudia. No hay don, ok. No hay don. Cling, correct. Bueno. No, next one, please. Next one. Uh, after Claudia, we have Chris. Chris, are you ready? Does John have three children? Yes? Yes. Chris? John is a he or a she? She. He, okay, good. Does he? Yes, he, sorry. Yes, he? I don't know. <laughs> you you want a comedian? You need a joker? Yes. yes. Okay. He does. 50 50. Yes, he does. 50 /50. I need a clue. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hoy no le vamos a llamar al público. Ya vimos que no nos están ayudando mucho ahora. <laughs> yes, he has. 50 50, eh, Chris. Yes, he does, yeah. or no, or, or yes, he doesn't. He does, or he doesn't. And, uh -huh, Chris. Yes, he does. Yes, he does, correct. Thank you very much. Good. After Chris, we have uh, Dagoberto. Do you like parties at night? Ooh, parties, right? Do you like parties at night? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. Totalmente falso, Adago, porque a usted sí le gusta la fiesta, pero en la oración está bien. <laughs> no, I don't. Good. Thank you very much, Dago. Now, next one, please. Okay. Uh, this is for this is for Glenda Glenda does your wife need a sweater mm. no I don't mm. no you don't you don't your wife your wife does your wife necesita tu esposa right uh -huh. esta oración no era para usted Glenda pero hagámosla ahí It's a woman, right? So that's your wife? He no, or she? Doesn't. Doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Correct. No, she doesn't. Okay. Now, next one, number five, please. Uh, Griselda? Uh, do you and your friends like movies? Yes, yes we do. do. Sorry? Yes, Glenda? we do. Yes, we do. Excelentoso. Number six, please. Um, after Glenda, we have uh, Griselda. Glenda, yes, Griselda. Yeah, please. Otra vez. The, no, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, pero ya me confundí. No, no, Jorge, Jorge, yes. Sorry, Griselda, excuse me. Uh, Jorge, do the students in your school like English? Mr. Orellana? Do the students in your school like English? Okay. Okay, so Josue, please help me, Josue. Uh, 
Jorge has some problem with the microphone, right? So, Josue, help me, please. Do the students in your school like English? Yes. Yes, sería. I, you, he, they. You. Yes, they do. Yes, yes, they do. Ah, soplation. Le están soplando, Josué. Ajá. <laughs> <laughs> qué trampa, qué trampa. Ajá, Josué. Sí. Yes. They sería porque. Yes, sería. they. Ajá. Yes, they. They, they does or they do. Permítame. Does. Mm. Do. Yes, they do. Es plural. Yes, they do or yes, they does, Josué. They do sería. They do, ok, very good. Le recomiendo que no escuche el público, que últimamente se han estado equivocando mucho, oiga. <laughs> ok, yes, they do. Ok, thank you, Josué. Thank you very much. Now, after Josué, we have eh, Marcela. Hello, Marcela. Hello. Good. Number seven. Does your husband like children? No, pero que si no sea. Yes. Alejandro. Yes. He or she? Sería yes. He. He. Doesn't. He doesn't. Mm. No lo sé, Rick. <laughs> he does or he doesn't? He does. He does. Correct. He likes children. He likes children, right? Good. The children. Now, does Mr. Villatoro want a motorcycle? This is for after Marcela. We have uh, Ernesto. Ernesto, please. Does Mr. Villatoro want a motorcycle? Villatoro. Uh, Villatoro. Mm -hmm. mm. No, quiero ver. No. Uh -huh. No, he, no, he, no, he does. Mm, I don't know, Rick. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay, very good. No, he doesn't, right? No, he doesn't. Good. Now, uh, Mario, please. Mario, you're going to make the questions. And Marlon. Marlon are you ready, Marlon? Yes. Uh, yes, okay. So, Ma Marlon, the answers, and Mario, the questions. Okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, tonight we present Mario and Marlon. Action. Number one, do you need a green shirt at work? No, I don't. Two, does John have three children? Yeah, he does. Three, do you like parties at night? No, I don't. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> Four, uh, does your wife need a sweater? Four, no, he doesn't. She? Five. Marlon? Okay. She? Yes, we do. No, yes, no, wait, don't. wait. Number four, right? Marlon? She? She. Repeat the, the answer, Marlon. No, she. No, no she doesn't. Good. Number five. Do you and your friends like movies? Yes, we do. Uh, six. Do the students in your school like English? Yes, they do. Okay, Mario. Give me a second, Mario. For number seven, change your husband for your wife, okay? Uh, does your wife like children? Yes, she does. Yes, yeah, she does, right? In this case, because it's wife. For you, Marlon. Uh -huh, she does. <laughs> okay, and eight, eight. does Mr. Biatoro want a motorcycle? No, he doesn't. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Marlon. You're really good. Thank you. I like your participation. Okay, now let's continue with 
the next slide. Oh, we finished. We finished. Right now we're going to we're going to see another material. Let me check. Yes. Teacher, ¿puedo yes. hacer una aclaración? Yes, 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 come on. Estoy muy cansado, por eso no, no me he concentrado ahí en las la respuestas. I know, you en, were walking, right? Sí, con el equipo fuimos, fuimos hasta Comalapa, Chalatenango, y perdimos 4 a 0. Ah. Aparte de cansado, la decepción. No, malo, voy a tener que ir a reforzarlos. Dígame, ¿qué cancha juegan? Ahí les voy a llegar. San Luis Pumpa, último lugar, estamos peleando. Con la nueva construcción. Yes, están igual que el Barça, que no, no, no levanta. <laughs> okay. Good. Now we are going to practice yes, no question with a conversation. Listen, please. Pay attention. Listen. Page 44, exercise 2. Conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. So notice the, the places or the, uh, notice the, how can I say, the, the parts, the parts of a house, right? Listen, please. Unit 7. Does it have a view? Page 44, exercise 1, snapshot. Listen and practice. House. The house has two floors, a garage and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. The bedrooms have closets. Apartment the apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. The apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Okay, now with this information, let's go and check the conversation again. Listen. Page 44, exercise. Excuse me. Page 44, Exercise 2, Conversation, My New Apartment, Listen and Practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, notice the two questions. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. So these are examples of yes, no question, right? Now listen again and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. Repeat. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it? Very big?
Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, let's practice. Two students, please. Very fast. Two students. Two volunteers, please, to make this conversation. Yes, teacher. Marlon and Mario, right? Thank you. Mario, you're Linda, and Marlon, you're Chris. Ready? One, Ready. two, three, action. Guess that. I have a new apartment. That's great. What, what is it like? It's really nice. Is it a very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the, univer the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Thank you very much. Now, guess what means adivina qué? Guess what, right? Okay, now we are going to, to listen the last exercise and we're going to give it pause. Le vamos a dar pausa para mañana. But we're going to listen the exercise. Pay attention, please. Simple present, yes, no question, and short sure answer. Listen. Page 45, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Simple Present Short Answers. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, now, to finish, right? Saul, do you live in a house or do you live in an apartment? Say, right. Do you live in a house, Saul? Yes, I do. Good, thank you. Mario, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Marlon, does your house have a kitchen? Yes, it does. Excellent. No, Thank you. It Thank does. Yes, it does. Right. Otmar, do you live in the city? Yes, I do. Excellent. Very good. Now, Dagoberto, do you live in the country? Country is El Campo, right? Do you live in the country? Yes, I do. Okay. No, I don't. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, good. Chris, do you, does your house, sorry, does your house have a bedroom? Yes, it has. Yes, it does. Yes, yes it, it does. does. Good. Uh, Griselda, does your house have a swimming pool? Piscina, piscina. Does your house have a swimming pool? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. In my case, I don't have a swimming pool. No swimming pool in my house, but I have a pila only. Only. <laughs> okay, I can't say. Yes, question? I have a question. Yes, tell me. Does your, 
is um, como jardín, ¿verdad? Yes, es la yarda, la, el patio trasero o delantero, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, it does the yard, the yard. Okay, class, thank you very much. I'm going to stay with Jorge. Me voy a quedar con Jorge trabajando un ratito. And the, the rest of you, I take already the attendance. Ya tomé la asistencia, así que tranquilitos. Have a good night. I hope to see you. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good bye, bye. Good See night. You. Good night. Bye, bye. Goodbye. Have a good night. Bye. Okay. Hello, Jorge. How are you? Sorry, no me había dado cuenta, lo oh, siento. No, that's okay, no problem. Good. Uh, do you have any question about the class, Jorge? Um, uh, I can't speak Spanish. Yeah, no problem. Ah, okay. Este, no, lo que yo le iba a preguntar es de que eh, en la en la, el grupo lo que nos ha mandado uh -huh. quiero quiero corroborar ese ese dato porque yo estoy cometiendo un error que creo que estamos cometiendo la mayoría, entonces ya se acerca el primer examen y no quiero cometer el error. A inicio, para la fecha 30, usted envió un archivo de PDF. Uh -huh. De ese archivo de PDF, de ahí saca toda la clase, ¿verdad? Ok, uh, I, I send... Lo que yo necesito uh, es imprimir uh. ese documento para empezar nuevamente a repasar hasta cero. Se le frizó la pantalla. Uh, no, I'm ok. Hello. Yes, I, I can Hello? hear you. Hello, I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, yes. Okay. Uh, I will explain step by step, Jorge. I sent many PDF, many PDF, right? Mm -hmm. The first one, it was about the manual. This manual, I will show you. This is the manual, right? Okay. Basic one, module one, you know? The manual, PDF. I sent to the group. Mm -hmm. Sí, yes. Good. Then this class is class number seven. Mm -hmm. So every, every class I send a PDF of a PowerPoint class, you know? Sí. Class number one, class number two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Six PDF, right? So you can, you can work or you can review. Puede repasar la clase. Oh, es, días, que, ¿no? es que no se me habían descargado los archivos y cuando me metí al, al, al grupo en buscar archivos, solo me aparecía uno y yo decía, ¿y dónde están los otros archivos? Entonces estaba como ah, preocupado. Okay, good. Entonces no se me habían descargado. Pero no obstante, también en la plataforma están las clases grabadas, ¿verdad? Yeah, that's another resource. Ese es otro recurso. Sí, o sea, es que... Es que lo que pasa es que, eh, dijéramos, es una, una situación personal que yo hago con ustedes de enviarle los los PowerPoint, pero eso no es como parte del programa, dijéramos, sino que es como una ayuda para que ustedes sí. refuercen. Lo que sí es, es obligación de nosotros como maestros es subir el video para que ustedes el día siguiente lo, lo repasen, el video. O sea, esta clase que estamos ahorita va a aparecer mañana en un video. Ese video está en la plataforma, ¿ok? Oh, yeah, sí. Pero sí. yo les mando archivos, les mando archivos para que ustedes repasen y les he mandado PDF del manual y PDF de todas las clases que hemos tenido de la 1 a la 6 y esta es noche voy yo, a enviar el 7 ¿no? sí. yo estaba hablando con Dagoberto ahor ahorita estábamos hablando y le decía yo el error que estamos cometiendo nosotros le dije yo, uh -huh. es de que tendríamos que tener impresto, impreso este documento para ir en el momento que está hablando el teacher, ir haciéndolo textualmente, porque ahorita lo estamos haciendo a guayabeándonos prácticamente solo eso, y eso nos sirve, le dije yo. Entonces ya le dije yo a él, mira, si querés el domingo a las 11 nos conectamos en una, una videollamada y eh, practicamos entre los dos, le dije yo, para irnos ayudando mutuamente, le dije, y así practicamos también la pronunciación y todo eso, ¿verdad? Mire, me parece una idea magnífica a, a modo de... Eh, como, de como Dago, Dago y yo somos, compañ somos compañeros y somos compañeros okay. en la zona, ¿verdad? 
Bueno, eh, pero también pueden invitar a otros compañeros. Sí, claro, Entonces, claro. Sí, claro, es, o sea, decir, ahí, es decir, ahí. Jorge, mire, le voy a ser sincero. Mire, cualquier recurso, cualquier eh, video, audio, conversación, lo que ustedes puedan para practicar inglés, ahorita es excelente porque ustedes están en un compromiso con esta clase. O sea, es decir, uh -huh. porque recuerde que el inglés no es tan difícil. Es decir, lo único que hay que hacer es estar en contacto, ¿verdad? Entonces me parece una idea magnífica que a motivo, a forma personal, ustedes puedan reunirse virtual o físicamente, no sé, ¿verdad? Y de ya sí, es sí. ¿va? porque ya no, no es uh, una motivación de inglés corporativo ni del maestro, porque nosotros no estamos autorizados a hacer esas actividades. Pero eh, me parece magnífico que ustedes lo hagan a, a, en forma personal, ¿verdad? Sí. sí lo felicito. Yo, yo, yo honestamente, de ser maestro de inglés, tiene mucha paciencia usted. <risa> no, 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 mi trabajo me gusta. Pero también le quiero decir que yo he enviado otro recurso, es decir, um, no sé cómo trabajan los demás compañeros, pero en mi caso a mí me gusta mandar un video todos los días. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces los lunes mando un video de vocabulario, los martes de gramática, hoy día miércoles les envío un ejercicio de escuchar, mañana jueves les voy a enviar una canción. Y el día viernes escuchó que Mario estaba hablando de un libro, ¿verdad? Que es un... Usted ahí los puede encontrar en YouTube, ¿verdad? Yo, Perdón, yo pe, ma, presiento que Mario está como... Re, siento yo, no sé. Percibo Ajá. que Mario está repitiendo clase o está duplicando clase porque se siente que va un poquito avanzadito. Yeah, sí, sí, sí. Sí, muy bueno, Mario. Pero, pero igual, ahí falta reforzar algunos puntos, ¿verdad? Entonces... Lo que Mario decía es que, eh, que él quería practicar con esos audiolibros que yo les envío e ir traduciendo. Entonces yo no sé si usted escuchó la explicación que le dio, que es recomendable mejor solo hacerlo en inglés, aunque usted aprenda poquito, o, sea, o vaya entendiendo poquito, pero ese poquito le va a ir ayudando más y más y más. Y más. Está frisado, se me frisó, no sé si es a mí o a usted, teacher. A ambos. Está fresada la pantalla. Hoy sí. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Hoy sí, hoy sí, 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 sí. Okay. Le decía que no es necesario traducir, sino que, aunque sea poquito a poquito, pero hay, hay de ir avanzando. Igual que con la música y, lo, y las películas en inglés, aunque ustedes no la entiendan, pero poquito a poquito van a ir avanzando, ¿no? Yo sí. en eso le, le iba a hacer una petición. Ok. Y, y usted ya lo mencionó y... y... Y yo siento de que nos va a ayudar a todos eso más. Y es de que no, lo, no quiero que lo tome mal, pero, pero a mí me gustaría que nos hablaran más en inglés y poco en español. Okay. Porque yo le, yo, le, yo le decía eso a, a Dago, de que, porque, ¿qué significa tal cosa? Es que no vayas traduciéndole. Porque creo que se frisó otra vez la pantalla. No sé, no sé si internet. es mi, mi internet sí, o su sí. internet, pero... Hello. Ahora sí. Hello, okay. Sí, Se sí, porque, por ratito, ajá, ¿no? sí, que yo le decía, es que si vas traduciendo, le dije yo, no vas a aprender, le dije yo, porque no es de, no es de traduciendo. Yo, yo sé un poquito, ahí aprendí callejeramente, pero que ya lo, lo ha notado. No, you're good. Son... you're good, you're good, yes, yes, you're good. I know, because I am a teacher, right, so I... I check the students who, who speak. So, okay, give me a second. Se le frisó, teacher. Para <laughs> mi mala suerte, tenemos, tenemos mal internet este día. Uh, I don't know why. No, yo tengo 100 mega, tendría que funcionar yo, rapidísimo. Sí, <laughs> yo también tengo. Ya vamos a reclamar en la compañía. <laughs> no. okay, bueno, so... eso era por, por mi parte lo que yo le iba, le iba a decir. No, that's okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ok, lo otro que se me había olvidado decirle, el día viernes, teacher, solo voy a hacer una hora de clase, okay. porque le comento que yo el día sábado tengo reunión en San Salvador y tenemos que salir a las tres y media de la mañana de aquí, entonces necesitamos descansar y como venimos de, de, de largo de trabajar, entonces venimos bien agotados. No problem, I understand. Friday, Dago, only, only one hour. Sí. Sí, una hora nomás. Ok, good, I understand. I will copy it right now. Friday, only one hour, right? Sí, Dagoberto creo que le va a pedir lo mismo, porque nos toca a nosotros viajar desde San Miguel hasta San Salvador. No problem, Jorge, yes. I understand. 
one hour, right? One hour. Yes. Okay. Uh, so maybe uh, in the in the course we 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 can have another opportunity to speak ten minutes, right? Okay. Anytime you tell me, right? Because uh, I have approximately like seventeen students, and we we have twenty classes. So maybe in another time we can we can speak, Jorge. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> eh, okay. ¿Para yes. cuándo está programado el, el la primera evaluación? Perdón. It's for let me see Monday next Monday Monday. <gasps> yeah, but it's in the platform, Jorge. Don't worry. Eh, este it's lunes the que viene. Yeah. No, es que le digo le digo esto porque para yo yo inicié por eso desde desde nivel básico porque tengo yo entiendo y lo hablo un poquito mejor de lo que la escritura entonces okay. por eso quise comenzar desde cero por por porque no conocí no yo utilizo, utilizo las palabras por por porque lo aprendí así y estuve en un curso también de inglés estuve con el ITCA un año hace mucho tiempo y de ahí que he estado en colegios que brindan inglés, ¿verdad? Por eso es que hay, hay palabras de que, que todavía hay que practicarlo mucho. Of course, yes. <laughs> sí. We have to practice. But that's the idea with music, videos, the, the English classes, with inglés corporativo, reading the manual, right? Ah, I forgot hey. to tell you before we finish. Ah. Uh, I, the first class I recommend, I recommend it to print the manual. So if you have the possibility to print the, this manual, do it. Uh -huh. do sí, it, sí, sí, lo voy a imprimir. Uh -huh, voy because a imprimir. You, you are only copying. No, screenshot, screenshot. No, no, no. You copy here in the manual, no problem. Yes, sí. that's my recommendation. Sí, sí. Yo, mire, yo le digo, en pronunciación difícilmente me va a punchar. No, you're good, you're good, I know. <laughs> no, 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 mentira, todavía me falta. No, Pero no, no, en, but you're good, ya, you're good. Ya en la escritura sí me va a... <laughs> es <laughs> Sí, la gramática. Ah, me mata ahí. Ok, don't ah. worry, Jorge. You're good, yes. Ok, okay? have okay. a good night and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Muchas gracias. gracias. Anytime, anytime. Bye bye.